I am guarding this sofa. You shall not pass. Keeping an eye on you. <laughs> I am vlogging, vlogging, videoing, shooting a video. Um, for the first time in quite a while, I've had uh, a tough time with my back. I actually went to the hospital on a God Honest Ambulance um, a few weeks ago, like almost a month ago. And I'm just sort of, um, <laughs> I'm tempted to say learning to walk again, but it's not quite similar. It's a problem with my back, not with my legs. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit more about the whole situation. Uh, okay. So the last time I talked to you guys or even made a video was almost like six weeks ago and that's when it started getting worse. It got very very nasty and then I, it got so bad that actually my legs from went like straight from underneath me and um, I had to take the ambulance to the hospital and that was unpleasant yeah um, so what happened then was I was there for like three days and they did like um, allow me to leave or kick me out or something of that sort um, few days later when the pain was like under control I'm not gonna go into the whole situation any in any detail because it was extremely traumatic and I got diagnosed with um, PTSD due to it so it's really better for us all if I don't talk about it and get all broken. <laughs> okay, but I'm home now. I can I can walk better. I mean, I don't have to use crutches anymore, which is really great. Don't have to use them anymore. Over there, still waiting to be returned to the hospital. Um, also, I can walk longer, like. I can walk further <laughs> and longer, which is extremely good and great. Also, um, I can like sit for longer periods of time now. Are you wondering what that thing is? I didn't notice that it was there. That's like... Can you see it? It's like a little exercise machine that I can't use now because my back's all shit. Um, okay, so what? Ugh. I guess I do have to tell you a couple of things. There's also grass there. That's an Easter tradition in Finland. You grow grass inside because there's no freaking grass outside at this time of the year. What was I going to talk about? <laughs> okay, yeah, I said I was going to tell you what was actually wrong with me. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, I had two prolapsed discs. Um, the two very lowest ones, the L, it was one between like L3 and L4 and one between L4 and L5 and they are still healing um, and that just takes time, takes a lot of time, 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 time. I haven't worked in six weeks and I'm going nuts. I don't have anybody really to you know, talk to and joke with, apart from the hubby, which is good for that, of course, and, you know, my mom calls every day and asks how I'm doing and what's going on and things like that, and my sisters finally visited. That was really nice. They came over and stayed a couple of hours and made me laugh so hard and my, I needed to use an asthma inhaler <laughs> after they left. 
<laughs> because my lungs weren't used to that stuff, you know. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I locked my hubby outside on a balcony. <laughs> sort of, whoa. <laughs> I locked him in there, sort of, by accident. And now I had to let him in because he was scratching at the door. Hmm. Um, okay, so... Anyway, um, I am under some very heavy-duty painkillers and medication for pain currently, but I'm get, I'm like slowly getting off of them, which is great. I don't don't really like you know taking so many painkillers, and the the tough thing about them is they make like my skin super dry. And probably everything super dry. They like dry me out. They're so strong. Anyway, uh, fun times. Hospital. Through two rides on the ambulance and then some kick ass poison drugs to take the pain away. But, no, I'm doing better. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, but that was all for now. Hopefully this is like a very short thing and just like kind of explains what's going on and I'm slowly getting back to, you know, reviewing and doing videos and all that jazz. Everything normal. Back to normal. Close to normal. Not yet back, but getting there. <laughs> yeah. So, if you like, you can subscribe, and I will be showing up in your inbox, you know, once a week, most likely. <laughs> and there'll be all kinds of book stuff, and vlogs, and beauty stuff, and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what I've been reading lately, can you focus please? Uh, I've been rereading the Immortals of the Dark series. I got like one, two. I think I got two from there, and then I read this one. And um, got all these other ones to still reread. This one, just a little while ago, there's a review about it. You don't even have to scroll very far back on my blog to get that one. And. I am desperate to get the new one. It came out already. I think it's called like Twice Burned or Twice Something. Something something. Look at those abs. Yeah, okay. And what else was I currently, currently, lately I've been reading? Oh, yes, this one. It's actually just Kendra's like sort of biography of sorts. Of course you got some J.R. Ward. I've been meaning to get that big giant thingamabob of where all the novels are, the, like a big package, but I haven't got to it yet. That's my Carolyn Sparks. And there's some Harlequin Finnish ones. Twilight. So I used to love reading these. I haven't read them for like years now. And then there's the great, great vampire hunter novels. Um, great until like maybe Obsidian Butterfly, and that's when I stopped collecting them. It was just like, wah wah. Ooh, Melissa Cutler, I love her. Uh, she actually sent this one. This was, I won it um, in a giveaway, and she sent it to me all the way from her place. Was it like, I can't remember if it was the US or Australia. But anyway, that came from far away. And this one, I've been, I got this to uh, read it in Prague, but there was so much to do in Prague, I was so <laughs> completely tired when I got home that, you know, I, there was, I didn't have any time. But I'm, I'm ex excited to read this because I, I love her strong women series, a lot of, like queens and things of that sort. Oh, and here's all the, um, like, southern vampire, there's a, thing there. All the southern vampire 
books that I have. I think there's like one or two more of these than what I currently have. Oh, and this is really great, and it's dusty on top. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll just wipe that on my thing. Whoa, did you get scared? It's called, um, I think it's called The Purge in English. And it's a Finnish author, Sophie Oksanen. And uh, the, um, the book is awesome. People love it. They think it's like super great literature. The author's funky looking. Let's see if I can... There's a picture of her. Oh! No, that wasn't any picture of the, um, the author, but she looks funky. You can look her up on Google or something. Uh, of course, then you have, we have the Somewhere Tolkien, that's great. Of course, the Miracles, which is wonderful. And then we got the Finnish, like, bacon rituals of some sort. And this is mine. <laughs> this is my book. That was actually, like, a gift from my husband on our first anniversary or something. He got um, one of my books in print, one of the ones that I've written. Um, oh, and then this Outlander. Oh, I love that one. This one is actually my hubby's. He didn't like it because it was girly. <laughs> so, and then we have the, oh, I love these, the Cowboy and Vampire books. And the authors are really funny, great people, super great people. Oh, that's like, remember to go to the hospital and get checked out. I remember that. There's a clay pass. All the wallflower books. Then, of course, a little Eat, Pray, and Love. Some Harlequin romance. And then, why come Finnish people are fat and Japanese aren't? Well, not exactly that, but you know. Okay, so I'm going to show you this a little bit. Ah, there we go. So we got some Cosmopolitan. Got my camera, which I, like, near freaking lost. Let's put that on top of the boobs so nobody's confused there. And then got my little area of like like um what are these? <laughs> jewelry. Jewelry and you know watches and a couple of extra what are those? Perfumes. And then I have my pen card. Got my painkillers and then I got two different kinds for two different occasions. And then this is for lips because I, I just think this is the best thing ever to have on your lips. It's like you, your lips don't get addicted to it like they get on other stuff and it's just like sort of the clear, cleanest stuff you can have. It doesn't have a lot of chemicals or anything like that. Okay, But those are like all the heavy duty drugs that I'm currently using. Alright, so I'm going to sit back down and just snack pretty much. There's my cursing hedgehog hedgehog going underground like hedgehogs do. Anyway, gonna have some salsa, gonna have some chips that's like a nacho covered thing. And then just like some loose candy. Some sour stuff, some fruit stuff, some salty stuff, some chocolate, chocolate stuff. And then these things, which I kind of like. They're like, like fruit taffy, but they taste like mango or something. And oh, I did show a picture of this. Where can I get the light? be good. Let's see. Oh, it's just like all the colors I have left and then of course this one is the um, the one that I have on my lips right now. Ah, that was backwards. That was upside down. Fuchsia Flash. It's one of those new color vivids. That's what I had on my lips in case you're wondering what that was. But now I'm going to just, uh, yeah I was looking at like nail files and stuff like that. But I am going to watch the rest of this, and then I'm going to go and watch the rest of the, um, <clears throat> oh gosh, Teen Wolf.
Yes, that's it. All right. Bye, guys. Did you even... Can you even tell that I actually I did something to my hair earlier today? It was so nice and pretty. Then I went outside for a walk and it's just like completely straight. It's like I didn't do anything with it. It's just... That's what my hair does. It's a great pain in the ass. Hello, Orion. Did you come and greet people? Greetings, people. This is Orion's bed. It's like Orion's corner. He has his blanket that he's had since he was a puppy dog. Yes, yeah, that one. That one's yours. And then this rose one. That's like huge now because he likes to lay like that. Anyway, that one's like even, that's like my dad's and I got it. Like when I moved to my own place, I think. It was one of the ones that he he gave me, so God knows how old that is. But Orion likes it. There's cluster underneath the bookshelf. Yes. That's a good spot to be laying in. 